Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today's topic is on elastomeric impression materials. So this is going to be an introductory video on what are elastomeric materials, the classification of them, okay, and all those general things about the elastomeric impression material. Now you must be thinking that what does elastomeric mean, okay? So it is derived from the word elastic. So these have elastic properties. They are rubbery kind of substances, okay, and mainly this material was used in the industrial purposes, okay, for making tires and whatnot. But soon this material came to dentistry. And why they came to dentistry? Because obviously, you know, we had elastic materials earlier also, like we had the alginate, etc. But the problem with them was that they were not dimensionally stable. They were not that accurate. I mean, this is more accurate, very accurate, in fact. So in a need of having a better impression material, this material came into existence or this material was taken from the industrial purpose and, you know, it was welcomed in dentistry. So how do we define elastomers? These are a group of polymer based impression materials that are chemically cross linked when set and that can be stretched and yet rapidly recover to their original dimensions when the applied stress is released okay so what this definition tells us they are a polymer based impression material as we'll see in the chemical composition as we proceed in the video and in the upcoming videos also so these are polymer based impression materials and they are chemically cross-linked again talking about the chemistry okay and they can be stretched means they are rubbery elastic and yet they rapidly recover okay when you stretch it you know they can rapidly recover and that too to their original dimension okay so these have a large recoverable deformation okay and they are also dimensionally stable and also very accurate impression material they give you very good surface reproduction okay so these advantages should be never forgotten okay now, you must be wondering what made elastomers so popular in dentistry. And these are related, as I told you, to their properties. They are so good that they are popular, okay? Like if somebody is popular, obviously he or she might be very good. In fact, you know, in today's world, popularity is on the extremes of both sides. Either you are very good at something or you are very bad at something, okay? I don't want to take names, but you must have, even, you know, in YouTube channels, you must have seen. There are a few channels that are very, very bad, but very popular. God knows why. Obviously, because people like such things. And there are channels which are very, very popular for the good reasons. Okay. So, the same thing here, but in dentistry, we are not giving popularity to the worst products. We are giving popularity to good products. Okay. So, the elastomers are popular for good reasons. Okay. They are very accurate, they can recover deformation and they have a long term dimensional stability. Three very good property which makes them popular. Now coming on to classification. These can be classified according to four ways. According to chemical nature, according to viscosity, okay, according to polymerization, method of polymerization and according to method of dispensing. So the first one is according to chemical nature. These are polysulfide, addition polysilicon, condensation polysilicon and polyethers, okay. And polyethers also can be of two types. We have light activated polyether and we have chemically activated polyether. Then according to viscosity, we have very high viscosity, high viscosity, medium viscosity, low viscosity. According to method of polymerization, we have either addition polymerization or condensation polymerization. Means, according to the way the elastomers polymerize, either by addition polymerization reaction or condensation polymerization reaction, they have been, you know, classified. Means, for example, polyether and addition polysilicons, they, you know, have addition polymerization. While condensation polysilicon, as the name says, obviously, it will have condensation polymerization and also polysulfides, okay? Sorry for the P here, it should be here. Now the final 
way of classifying it according to method of dispensing. We have single paste system means you just have one paste and you have light activated kind of thing means you give a light of certain wavelength and it will polymerize. So single paste system then two paste system having two paste okay base and catalyst. So addition and condensation polysilicon they are also available as two paste system and we also have three paste system okay in chemically activated polyether. The elastomers in fact are available in different consistencies. We have light body, medium body, heavy body and also putty type okay. So the putty type they are available in tubs means you will have two you can imagine the you know container of a moisturizer huge container of moisturizer having having a putty consistency material so you take out a ball from each of the two tubs you mix them properly so that you know the different colors are not visible you get a homogeneous color okay and then you load it on the tray and take a putty impression okay so that is about the putty consistency then coming to light body these are available in syringes so you can just directly inject it onto the patient's teeth for example in tooth preparation you can just inject it on the prepared tooth okay so light body records the details very accurately because it is having low viscosity okay so it will flow well it will flow well to the areas we need to record and it will record it better so we use light body and then we also have medium body so depending on the uses like we can use different consistencies for different use and more on this in the upcoming videos don't worry now in the next video we will be starting with polysulfide impression material which is one of the oldest impression material having some disadvantages not that used nowadays okay today we are more using a silicon c silicon okay so but anyways for the purpose of knowing it we will have a look have look in fact in detail on the polysulfide impression material okay so i'll see you in the next video take care alhafiz